What's going on you guys? So another HP. This is a Z240 on a workstation. I'm gonna be doing upgrades. So I'm gonna switch to the other side. So first of all we'll do is uh, you guys will need a, this is a Torx and T15 screwdriver you'll need. Or if you don't have a Torx uh, T15, then you can just use a flathead screwdriver to work fine. I'm gonna upgrade the video card, RAM, CPU, and a solid state drive. And you do the, remove the two and a half inch solid state drive, you gotta click right here, this little latch. Lift it up, disconnect. I'll be using the Samsung Solster Drive. And I do recommend you guys uh, go minimum 500 gigs. I'll go, I'll at least go probably one terabyte. And I do recommend <clears throat> going to uh, get a Samsung. Samsung's pretty good solid state drive. I do recommend. Install it. I need like the SATA power cable. And I'm going to switch it back, click it back in, just like that. So now, what I will do is I will remove the heatsink and the CPU cooler. And it's got a French rod here to remove also. I'm using the left hand so you guys can see the view better. Because if I use the right hand, it will block in the view, the camera. And you can disconnect the CPU fan header. It's a uh, one, two, four pin for wire. And what I need to do is I'm gonna take a paper towel. I'm gonna to wipe down the thermal compound first. And same with the CPU before you're gonna remove it. It's got an i5-6500 six gen. And I will upgrade to 7th Gen 7700. It will support i5, i7. It also supports a Xeon CPU. So it's a pretty cool machine. I like it. I'll put a link in the description. You guys will see the CPU supports. You can also install 6th Gen 6700. So that's removed. What I'll do is... So we're going to take this, this clip right here. Finger it like this. And it comes out with CPU jelly. Lift it up like this. I'm gonna show you guys. I5-6500. And I gotta wipe my hands off. Got some thermal compound here. And the CPU I'm installing will be I7-7700, 7th gen. You can install the same way, like this, only one way. Clip it in. Now what I'll do is I'm again I'm gonna take a paper towel. 
I don't think uh, rubbing alcohol, 91%. The CPU, same with the heat sink. Okay, so it's complete. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna take a thermal compound. I'm using guys, uh, Cooler Master. This is a 200 grams, that's a lot, seven over seven ounce. But yeah, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can use our uh, MX Arctic MX series uh, thermal compounds, pretty good. I'm just gonna apply it like this CPU. That's good enough. Now, what I will do is, I'm gonna upgrade the RAM. Uh, it's got 16 gigs of RAM dual channel. I'm gonna install two more sticks, so be total 32 gigs. It's my ACC on buffer RAM. And you see right here, this is a channel eight, the black slots. Channel B will be the white slots. Now, what I will do is I will upgrade the video card to show you guys. This is the video card, guys. I bought a new one. And what you guys have to do is you will have to replace the low profile bracket. When you get it, it has a full height bracket. And to do that, you have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws before you move the low profile bracket and if you guys you will need a mini phillips head screwdriver to do that so yeah i'll put a link in the description it's available on amazon and it's uh amd radeon rx 6400 you see that pretty cool so it's got a display port and the hdmi port so it'll take support dual monitor be perfect for gaming or if you guys can be run a dual monitor setup, it'll be perfect. So to remove the video card, you gotta unclip this. And there's a, right here, there's a clip right here. You gotta lift it up like this, your finger, and pull the video card out. You see that right here? There's a green clip right here. You're gonna press it up. Then you're gonna lift the video card up. It'll come out. Uh, this video card is installed as NVIDIA Quadro K620. That's uh, a pretty low end video card. And I'm show you guys. So the top one is a PCI Express times 16. The bottom one right here is a times one. And the all the way in the bottom, that's actually PCI Express times four. So, hold on, I can't see. Okay, that's installed. And you're gonna clip this in like this. Now, I'll install back the CPU cooler. Before you do that, you're gonna take the, don't forget, connect, you're gonna install it back to the motherboard. The four pin wire. Now I'm going to take the Torx T15 screwdriver and I'm going to screw it back in. And if you guys are asking me, do I have to update the BIOS? You actually do not have to update the BIOS. It works perfectly fine. 
but I do recommend if you guys are not gonna upgrade the CPU, I do recommend removing the CPU cooler heatsink and uh, reapply the new thermal compound. Check again. It's all complete. Now what I'll do is install this uh, plastic front fan shroud in the back. And the wire goes on like this. So the wire goes around it looks like yeah okay let me clip it back in and so you guys are asking what about the power supply it's a 240 watt it worked perfectly fine with rx 6400 so you don't have to upgrade the power supply also uh, it's got it'll support NVMe SSD 2280. I'll show you guys. And the problem is, this is using a special kind of standoff screw. It actually looks like it's a 1.5 millimeter thickness, and they don't sell actually don't sell this kind of screw. You have to special order through HP. You have to buy the heatsink together. And I was looking online; they were like thirty dollars just for the heatsink. It's too much. So you just better, I would recommend just get a two and a half inch soul state drive Samsung instead of buying this. So it's all complete. Let me close the case. And install back the side cover panel. And so you guys the back side right here. That's how it's gonna look like. See you guys at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.